Hi, this is John and welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about making slideshows and um, if you select thumbnails in the Elements Organizer and click on the Create menu and choose Slideshow, it brings up this slideshow editor. And you can see on the left we have several themes, not that many, but um, sufficient for most people. Watercolour, black and white, woods, pan and zoom, city lights and, and, and classic. And uh, these are pretty good for making an instant slideshow for uploading as an mp4 file to YouTube or social media. But sometimes I just want to create a simple traditional slideshow with a cross dissolve in between each photo. And that's when I go into Premiere Elements. So if you have the bundle, which is always the recommended purchase option that I um, that I make, um, especially around about the Black Friday sales or the holiday promotions, it's it, it's by far the best value for money in my opinion. So I already have um, uh, Premiere Elements open, so let's uh, move over to that application. So I'm in the Premiere Elements video editor or premier elements video editor in the expert mode and um, I'm going to first make some changes to the preference settings um, under the edit menu edit preferences general I've actually already made the settings myself you can see I've changed this from 30 to 60 which is like a couple of seconds in um, standard video time I'm leaving the transition at 1.00 and I've changed the um, duration for the still photos to four seconds per image. Um, I find five seconds a little bit too much, but it's a personal preference and um, you can decide your own criteria. So having made those changes, I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to open a folder where I have some images ready and this is a folder called Canyon, Canyon Lands, double clicking on it, opens up these photos which were taken in the US. I'm going to shift click to um, select all and then I'm going to minimize this um, window. And drag them straight onto the timeline. Video one, and as you can see, Premiere Elements is adding these 10 photos, and there they all are. They appear ready for the slideshow. So I can close this um, folder down now, having got them onto the timeline. And um, what I want you to want to show you now is that um, these presently have no transitions. So I want a, a, a standard transition, which is called cross dissolve. And you can see it's highlighted in yellow, which means it's set as the default transition. If you don't see that, you can simply right click on any transition and say set selected as default. But anyway, I'm going to leave, leave that set as cross dissolve because that's exactly what I want. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle over the timeline, over all the clips, and that selects them all. Apply default transition and Elements will automatically apply in between each photo the cross dissolve. And if we click the play button, we can see that those have been included. As we move between photo to photo, we get this nice smooth cross dissolve. And the, um, the, the photos fill the frame from top to bottom. You will get the uh, black bands either size depending on your individual image size, but it means you can use your photos straight from the from the camera. Um, I'm going to pause that now and then I'm going to delete everything again from the timeline by selecting all and pressing delete on the keyboard. And I'm going to go to another folder of images which um, I've already cropped to 16.9 format. I've actually made them into a um, 1920 by 1080 so let's find the folder that I'm looking for and there we have Canyon Lens 16.9 don't want to change the name I want to open the folder and press Control A to select all these images and again repeat what I did before drag into the timeline and then closing down the the folder and I'm going to repeat again what I did previously, drag a rectangle over these to select all, 
right click and choose to go to timeline, apply default transition, and you can see those have been reply, uh, applied automatically. Um, I'm going to just delete this gap here, and this gives a much more professional feel. You can see that um, the, 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 the photo is at uh, 1920 by 1080 fill the frame. Let's pause that again and uh, maybe add some music just to um, to finish things things off. Um, this one here I quite like. I've already downloaded this but you can see it hasn't got a blue mark across the corner. Any any piece of music which has a blue mark which you drag to the timeline you'll have to wait for it to download but this will go straight away onto the audio track and um, there we are. And we can see that it's, um, I'm going to leave it at intense and I'm going to say fit to the entire video and click on done and that trims it to the, to the, to the size of the, um, the length of the video. So let's play this through and um, see how it's... Well, you get the idea, these uh, photos nicely fill the video frame and the transitions are nice and smooth. So I hope you like this very simple way of making a slideshow in Premiere Elements after you have tweaked the preferences to make it possible. So thanks for watching and bye for now.